James Hivemaker left England in 1919 to invent this place. Concrete trees bordered the property. Up in the concrete trees were the concrete people. On one side of the house were the twin brothers, Cain the plowman, who had a lot of fixed ideas, and his brother Abel. When I was a child, Cain killed his brother Abel. After that, God put an X mark on Cain's forehead in order to protect him from vengeance. Whoever killed Cain would die 13 times. I read this riddle in my grandfather's diary, which I found in the library. After that, I went for a walk. I couldn't go beyond the perimeter of the acre. So I went indoors. I watched the people in the trees. And Cain, as he left for another planet, I decided that I didn't want to understand what had happened. I went to bed just as the sun was setting. Melissa wasn't home yet. The next day at work, I felt especially sensitive to what was happening inside the machines. I could feel the weapons and the targets. Inside the targets, I could feel that there were souls. I was leaving my old self behind. That afternoon, I could feel the darkness around me. I was on the edge of a journey. That night, as I watched television, it occurred to me that the soul of a person could fragment and decay like one of Hivemaker's ghosts. lost. The dead were in the sky. I was their target. They wanted me. I knew that my suit would protect me.
i didn't want to tell melissa what was happening to me i was glad for the everyday routine now but i knew that i would soon have to make some sort of decision separated from the ground. were prepared for us by the defense mapping agency. Every tape was a square of real landscape. I could feel those places. There were people there. To hit a simulated target was to secretly prepare murder against the real target. Eventually, there would be real ghosts. I had to decide now. I was on a mission. I turned off the radar and headed towards the moon. The dead had attacked me. Now I would attack them.